10 high protein foods you should be eating to lose belly fat fast. One macronutrient can make the difference between being skinny fat and being lean and muscular. When I implemented all the advice I'm about to share in this video, my physique changed. So did my clients Wayne, Montino, and Avalon and all the hundreds of clients I've coached over the years. When I first started training, I watched hundreds of videos on fat loss and building muscle. A common theme that I would see with these videos was that you need to drink protein powder. Without doing the research, I went out and bought my first tub of protein powder with the hopes of seeing immediate results. I would take two scoops every day while pairing it with a horrible diet thinking my daily protein intake was enough. Now, I did see results, but I could have maximized these results by implementing more protein to my diet? Absolutely. Protein functions as the primary catalyst for muscle growth and promotes fat loss, but only when it's done right. Protein is a macronutrient that some people struggle to get an appropriate amount in their diet in order to build muscle and lose fat, mainly because it's considered to be less palatable than other foods that are high in carbs and fats. In this video, I'll be showing you the 10 high protein meals to help you lose belly fat and build muscle in addition. But before we get to the 10 foods, let me explain what makes a good protein source. Firstly, is foods leucine content. As shown by studies, leucine is an essential amino acid shown to be the most potent amino acid at stimulating muscle protein synthesis. And secondly, we need to consider the digestibility of the food, which is the amount of nutrients that can be absorbed and digested by the body. In this case, the number of amino acids that can be digested and absorbed to be used for muscle protein synthesis as well as growth. Therefore, the higher the leucine content and the digestibility of a protein source, the more muscle growth and repair. This now begs the question, what is better, animal-based protein or plant-based protein? Well, it depends. According to research, animal-based protein has higher leucine content and a higher digestibility to the latter. To further support this, the review from the Journal of Nutrition states that animal-based protein has a higher digestibility and a higher leucine content than plant-based protein, which are also deficient in other essential amino acids. This doesn't mean that plant-based protein shouldn't be considered. This just means there needs to be a few things that needs to be implemented to receive the essential minerals and amino acids. But before we dive in, a lot of research and editing goes into making a video like this. Just do me one favor, if you wouldn't mind, gently hit the like button, it'd be greatly appreciated. And if you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new. Let's kick it off. Number 1. Chicken is the most commonly consumed high protein foods and found to be cost effective. One dollar of chicken breast gets you 26 grams of protein. The breast is considered to be the leanest part. It has little to no fat, but that's excluding the skin, which contains excess calories, adding anywhere between three to four times the amount of fat to your meal. So if you're looking to maximize your protein intake with chicken, be sure to remove the skin and you'll be getting a good amount of protein in. With 85 grams of chicken breast, you can easily get 27 grams of protein. Chicken is a protein source that can easily be found almost at any local supermarket or grocery store and can be incorporated into your lunch or dinner. A quick and easy chicken breast meal that you can use is using some soft tortilla wraps with the chicken breast, adding in some old El Paso salsa, some onions, some bell peppers, whichever garnish you prefer, and adding it to it with all the sauces that you like. I added a base layer of some low fat cheese and it tastes amazing. The macros on this meal are 28 grams of carbs, six grams of fat, and 38 grams of protein. This took me five minutes to prepare. Super duper easy, and if I were you to even save yourself some time, meal prep the chicken beforehand and it'll be done quickly. See you in the next meal. Tilapia. Tilapia is popular, relatively inexpensive fish, giving you 24 grams of protein per dollar. It is white, freshwater fish that's a great source of protein, yet low in calories and fat. One fillet has 87 grams of tilapia, can pack 23 grams of protein and only 111 calories. Fish is a fantastic source of protein for one main reason, it's high protein, low in fat. From cod 
to tilapia this is king lip which you can get in cape town very popular but having this and pairing it with a cauliflower rice meal makes it incredible the macros for this meal are 439 calories which comes out to exactly 17.7 grams of carbs 1.4 grams of fat and 77 grams of protein you cannot beat this type of meal especially for the volume give it a go let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are going to give this a shot but go on to the next meal lean ground beef Compared to the other sources of protein, lean ground beef can be more expensive at 11 grams of protein per dollar. Unfortunately, lean ground beef is a bit more expensive than regular ground beef, but it is surely worth the cost. Lean ground beef contains a good amount of protein compared to the other ground beefs. Reason being, per gram of lean ground beef, there's less fats. The goal is to remove as much fat from the diet as possible, and by adding lean ground beef to your diet, you're reducing the amount of fat you're ingesting. But by how much? Per 30 grams of lean ground beef, there's about 15 grams of fat. When we compare this with regular ground beef, there's 62 grams of fat per 30 grams. You cannot go wrong with a lean ground beef, especially using it with a bunless burger. The macros are 261 calories, one gram of carb, 13.5 grams of fat, and 34 grams of protein. If you do have the carbs, of course, add your buns there. But if you wanna get away with a low carb substitute that also tastes like you're having a Big Mac and more, this is the meal to go for. Super easy to make. Through the patties, in the air fryer, you're good to go. Add your garnishes of choice, and that's it. Fat loss and fat gain is always going to be dictated by your diet. Don't let anyone ever tell you it's something else, like your metabolism or the way that you're training. It's always going to be the food that you're putting into your body, and this is why most people fail. The word diet insinuates that it's a temporary change that you're going to do, and this is why most people end up in a worse position even after they've gone through a program. Having meals like this make it sustainable, and this is exactly what I do with my clients. I figure them out fundamentally, and I build a plan for them that they'll be able to sustain life long and something that they enjoy. They're actually quite surprised by the foods they're able to eat and then their ability to lose two pounds of fat within the week or more. That being said, Thanksgiving is over, Christmas is coming and the New Year's is around the corner. Now is the time to make the change. If you're someone who is career driven, someone wants to be in better shape, you want to have more energy, you want to be a better version of yourself in 2023, then fill out the call link in the description below. Book a call with me. I'll tell you about the sequence that I use and I call it the DNA sequence. This is how I have been able to see progress, including the hundreds of clients have transformed. I'm looking forward to hearing from you and speaking to you, but let's continue the video. Eggs and egg whites. We love a whole egg, especially because we can get 18 grams of protein per dollar. Having them scramble with toast, boiled, making a delicious omelet, or even having it with a fried rice meal. Whole egg contains a considerable amount of calories and micronutrients that come with the egg yolk. All of that fat soluble vitamins A, D, E and K in the eggs are found in the yolk. In addition, the yolk contains the healthy fats and cholesterol necessary for the production of hormones such as testosterone. When dieting, the yolk can add a considerable amount of fats to the diet that can make it difficult to incorporate. This is where egg whites come in. Four whole eggs are a total of 312 calories, 28 grams of protein, 2 grams of carbs, and 21 grams of fat. Those are amazing macros except for the high fats. Personally, on my current diet, that would take away half of my total fats for the day. Eight egg whites gives you the exact amount of protein and carbohydrate minus all the fats and 40% less total calories at 137 calories. When making my breakfast meal, I sometimes add a whole egg with my egg whites to still have that delicious yolk in there. In general, egg whites are a game changer for anyone's diet.
protein bars. For all the people that I work with that are extremely busy, a high protein bar is a must to have. And I'll tell you why for two reasons. Number one, it's an easy source of protein. Number two, it cures the sweet tooth. So what I love about having a protein bar, it helps you stay away from the Twix or the Snickers bars or any of your favorite chocolates. And this will help you hit your protein. What you need to pay attention to is the overall macros. So in this grenade bar, for example, 217 calories, 14 carb, 8.2 grams of fat, 23 grams of protein. Mind the fat content in the bars. But you'll always find a great alternative like this one here. 113 calories, seven carb, 4.9 grams of fat, 9.2 protein. So it's very likely that I can have two of these bars instead. At least carry something with you, Quest Nutrition, any of those are fantastic. But you can't go wrong with a protein bar, especially if you're on the go. Whey protein. Whey is especially popular with athletes and bodybuilders because of its amino profile, which is high in leucine. Whey protein is a great substitute if you're unable to reach your protein intake for the day. In two scoops of protein powder, you can get anywhere from 30 to 40 grams of protein, which is higher than most whole foods. Whey protein should be used as a supplement when you can reach your protein goals. It shouldn't be your primary substance for protein. Using this and other sources will work wonders for you. Devries and colleagues describe consumption of whey protein has a robust ability to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. In fact, whey protein has been found to stimulate muscle protein synthesis to a greater degree than other proteins such as casein and soy. One of the best inventions that's come out from whey protein is being able to mix it with different types of foods that make it your favorite. My personal of all time with any protein is a protein oats. Very simple, you just make your oats and you mix your protein in as your source to have your sweet tooth in there. And for me, the peanut butter flavor by EHP Labs makes it fantastic. That being said, this is an easy high protein meal to have. If you're a person who's into having their breakfast, this is the way to go. It's gonna keep you fuller for longer, especially from the satiety point of the protein and from the itself it is black friday for my sponsors hp lab so if you want to pick up anything from hp using the discount code diamonds 10 will show them that you're coming from me and supporting me and also that will save you some money the link is in the description let's go on to the next meal tuna canned tuna is also another great animal based protein source that is very rich in protein believe it or not tuna is into the top three of the cheapest protein sources coming in at 34 grams of protein per dollar the fat to protein ratio is so low. Out of all the protein sources on the list, it's almost purely protein. Lentils and other legume beans. Lentils can contain an average of 26% high protein quality, together with other grain legume seeds. They are the main source of dietary protein for over a billion people. On top of that, they have great potential for use in novel plant-based protein foods. In addition to being a plant-based protein source, they're also a fiber and carbohydrate source. Now, if you're looking to reach more macros than just protein, this is a good start. Per 30 grams of protein, you would get 66 grams of carbs. Greek yogurt, equally perfect for both breakfast and desserts. Greek yogurt is a wonderful addition to your diet, even if you're doing any kind of strength training. A two kilo tub of Greek yogurt will set you back $11 and give you a total return of around 100 grams of protein. Protein ice cream. In 80 grams of Moven pick, there are 242 calories, 15 grams of fat, 22 carb, and 3.2 grams of protein versus 80 grams of protein ice cream, which is 80 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, 5.2 grams of carbs, and 11.2 grams of protein. Comparing the two, that's a third of the calories, a tenth of the fats, and 15 grams left of carbs, and 15 grams less of carbs and almost four times the protein. The best part is that it tastes amazing. The most popular brand has to be Halo Top, followed by Arctic Zero, Skinny Cow, and the list goes on. I've also made a video showing you how to make your own protein ice cream at home. I've linked the video in the description. The purpose of this video is to show you dieting doesn't have to be unbearable. Sometimes people just need to know that there are healthy alternatives out there. And finally, we have milk. And meal number 10 is gonna be milk. 
you can get the fat free version in 250 milliliters there's 7.7 grams of protein and in this one that just has a little bit more fat and a little bit more carbs has almost 10 grams of protein per 250 milliliters milk is a fantastic way to be able to get your protein source with that being said that's the top 10 and you can add this into your oats you can add this in terms of making your own shake or a smoothie the choice is yours but let me get to the outro let me know which one of these meals you're going to try in the comments down below i'll be picking two people to win a hundred dollar giveaway each of either gymshark alphalete or ehp labs also with that being said my sponsors ehp are having their biggest black friday sale using the discount code diamonds 10 directly supports me the link for that is in the description and if you're interested in working with me you want to make your transformation in 2023 you want to get started just fill out the application below we'll get in contact and i'll see how i'll be able to help you in terms of your transformation but i'll leave the video there hit it with a gentle thumbs up these two videos are fantastic to watch as well and i'll see you in the next one peace